Hey, it's Calvin, also known as Romer, and welcome back to Pokemon Blue. Uh, we're still heading towards, uh, oh, we're already in Pokemon Battle. I don't actually remember where we're heading towards. I was about to say we're heading towards a certain place, but we just exited Cerulean City. Oh, we're actually heading towards Bill. That's what we're doing. We're going to be talking to Bill, hopefully, to fill up our Pokedex a little bit more. Um, from what I remember as a child playing this game, I actually played this a long, long time ago. Uh, I, I didn't even finish it, though. I never finished Pokemon Blue. In fact, I only ever played Pokemon Yellow. Uh, but from what I remember, oh, we will not be using this. From what I remember from this game, anyway, uh, is that I was always like, when I looked at like Bill's PC and all that, I was like, who the hell is Bill? I want to meet Bill. And when you finally get to meet Bill, I never actually got to meet Bill. Uh, because I got to this point in the game and I kind of just like, I guess stopped, if that makes sense. I don't know, you're probably like, why would you stop at this awesome game? I picked up my Pokemon love back again at Pokemon Silver and um, was way more in love with Pokemon at that point. I think it's just because I was so young that I didn't really understand what was going on and like I didn't really understand the kind of RPG elements of the game and the kind of open world elements I guess if you want to call it not really open world but like segmented open world game type thing I didn't really understand that as a child at all but as I got older they're my favorite type of games now but uh, I think it was like what I got I got Pokemon Silver when I turned seven or six uh, one of those ages and I loved it I don't know what, maybe it's just because I played Pokemon, not Pokemon, maybe it's because I played, uh, oh, Macho, I don't think this is even going to work. I played, uh, Final Fantasy X, which, no hate, Final Fantasy X is my favorite Final Fantasy game. It still is to this day, even after playing 15, which I love as well. Um, but I think after playing that game, I realized that games can be longer than, like, a couple of hours, and they don't have to be just related to movie titles, and they don't have to be just about, just Spyro and Crash. Uh, I was just always waiting for the next Spyro and Crash to come out, to be honest, and then I, then I played Final Fantasy X. And, uh, that kind of changed my whole perception of video games. Hiker is about to use Geodude. Will Anne change Pokemon? I will not. And I know, like, a lot of people do criticize po uh, Final Fantasy X, uh, because of its, you know, its voice acting and its, um... Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I keep clicking out of this because I'm not really used to playing on a PC. Uh, enemy Geodude fainted, Geodude fainted. I know a lot of people criticize po uh, Final Fantasy X, but it's honestly my it's honestly my favorite for a lot of reasons. Maybe it's just because the characters I love so much, and maybe it's because the, uh, the the battle system I love. Like it was my first ever time experiencing turn-based combat, and I loved it. <laughs> I, I absolutely love the turn-based combat in the game. I've got a girlfriend. Oh my god, lore guys! In the last one, we met this girl who was like, my boyfriend is super cool, and now we met a guy who says he has a girlfriend. So. Junior Trainer is dating Lass, and Lass was actually pretty cool because she had a Nidoran. Uh, but I have to say, no offense, I don't think your Rattata- Okay, your Rattata's pretty cool, okay? <laughs> Just leave me alone. Oh my god. I guess, like, I have been- I started asking questions in videos, like, unintentionally, but I kind of just do it every time now, so I might as well just keep asking questions every single video I make. So I guess, since I was talking about Final Fantasy X, what game did change your view of video games? Forever. Because with Final Fantasy X, the reason why that, like, Oh, Pikachu could live 20, awesome! Uh, the reason why I, I never really, like, uh, I never really taught of games like that is because every game I was playing was kind of like Spyro or Crash. It was just Spyro or Crash, that's all I wanted to play. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's switch Pokemon. I didn't want to play anything else. Yeah, every time I would go down to the GameStop to rent a game, I would rent the same game. I would re-rent re Spyro 2, or re-rent Spyro 1, or re-rent Spyro 3, or Crash 1, 2, or 3. I would continue to re-rent those games, even though I played them to death. Like, it, it got to the point where, like, I... Like, I, I... Not that I knew it, I didn't know everything about the games, I never even 100 percent of the games, but just something about it just was just so fun to play. And then one time I went down to the GameStop, and they didn't have... Uh, Crash Aspire. It was rented out for the week, and I was like, okay, like, I better pick something else then, and I looked over the PlayStation 2 section because I just got, uh, a PlayStation 2. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. I looked over the PlayStation 2 section, and I was so happy, uh, because, like, I just got a PlayStation 2, but, like, my, 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 people who knew me were kind of really, like, not weirded out because, like, the, the games I played on PlayStation 2 were, like, Tekken. Like, I used that for Tekken and WWE games, that's the only things I played. But I still love the old games, so we continue to rent, like, Crash and Spyro. And, um... I should heal up my Pokémon. And... When I went down that day and it wasn't there, I was kinda like, okay, then... I'll just be smart and use my console that is fucking awesome, like, for more than just two games. Two games that I, I will add that I did... 
like play religiously. So they weren't like it wasn't like they were just being like going to waste for no reason. I was playing the shit out of Tekken 4 and I was playing the shit out of um WWE just bring in and WWE shut your mouth at the time. Okay, let's uh let's go and talk to this guy. As he was to say, I knew I had to fight you. Yeah, but like when I went down and I saw that they weren't there, I picked up instead Final Fantasy X. Uh, because at the time I, d I didn't, I heard about um, Final Fantasy. I heard about it, of course. How could you not hear about? I heard about Final Fantasy VII, uh, which was a game that uh, we're gonna use since it works so well. Us and we're gonna use Spiro. Uh, I I heard about it from my friend James, and I'm not gonna say his full name obviously for obvious reason, but my friend James uh, would talk about Final Fantasy VII all the time. So the obvious thing I had to do was like I saw this game that he would talk about constantly and I respected his opinions even as a youngin' of, of video games. Except for like one game that like I continue to not, not play, not because it's bad or not because I think it's bad, but just because I never gotten around to it, which is Metal Gear Solid. So I picked up Final Fantasy X and I was amazed that games could actually do something like this and be this long. <laughs> I didn't get to finish it in the full week. In fact, it's my favorite Final Fantasy X, I, I think I had to get someone to beat the final boss for me. Uh, no, we'll keep going with Spiro, why not? It's probably a bad idea, but I kind of want to level up Spiro a bit more. Yeah, he does okay damage. I, I think a lot of people have had to do that, though, when they're younger. Get, like, someone else to actually beat the final boss, and I think it took a while, though, as well. Really, like, I, I think, it's, I think it's, it's rare to get a game, though, that really changes your perception on video games. And I, I, I wish, I wish we had more. I wish we had more of them. And I think, I think we do have a few of them that come out now. Like Persona Five is definitely one of them. Zelda, I will never look at an open world game the same again. Like I, I, I can't after Breath of the Wild. Uh, the same with, uh, like, the same, the same with honestly Dark Souls when I played that originally, and the same with other games like Pokemon Sun and Moon. Like I can't, like going back to this Pokemon game is weird. I love it, but like the next game has to have something implemented in it, like the, uh, like, like Sun and Moon system. Uh, but the real game that kind of like after Final Fantasy X that really changed my whole perception of video games was uh, Shadow of the Colossus. Like I have never felt that much in a video game before then. Still my favorite game of all time is Shadow of the Colossus. Which I played, I think there's two Shadow of the Colossus videos on my channel, I'm not sure. I played the, I should use the bird Pokemon for a grass Pokemon, right? Yeah, I should. Uh, I played uh, hard mode, the first two bosses on my channel, it's probably still on my channel somewhere. Uh, I want to do it at some point, but the thing is, like, it's kind of like that one of those situations where it doesn't matter. I want to do that game justice, and I feel like just a playthrough that's in between other playthroughs isn't that giving it justice. I like, I want to do it. It's at, at a point where I I want to do it because it's, even if there's loads of games out, I want to do it for, for that reason. I want to finish this game, of course, first. I also want to play Dongan Ron because people have been telling me to play that game for a while, and um, you guys have never suggested a bad game to me. Uh, I'm about to use Pidgey. Yes, I will change Pokemons to. I'll change the War Turtle because I don't really know. I don't really have a Pokemon. Oh wait, dude, I've I've, I've a fucking Pikachu. Jesus, I'm a gobshite. And um, actually, just as, uh, we should use. No, we're gonna stick to types. We're gonna stick to freaking types, okay? Because we're never gonna learn if I don't do it. Um, yesterday I didn't have a video out. By the way, if you're if anyone's actually wondering, uh, was because I. Um, well, because I, I don't have to, you know, you don't have to release a video every day. It's not just like a, a mandatory thing. I feel like if that became a mandatory thing and not just something that I wanted to do, I feel like it would become very silly. Uh, for, yeah, it's super effective. For me, not releasing a video yesterday was like, I felt like it was the difference between like me like getting a passing grade on my exam and failing my exam, you know, kind of way because like, uh, I, 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 yeah, what? No, that's not. Okay, let's actually. <laughs> I was like, let's not. I'm okay, guys. I'm sorry. Like, the, I should be paying more attention to the actual types of the the, the Pokemon. Uh, but yeah, yesterday I just wanted to study a bit more because my exams are coming up, and that's uh, that's kind of smart, I guess. You know, you gotta you gotta do that peck. Got a little peck on the cheek. I hope you guys don't mind me talking about other things like other video games while I'm doing these battles because I feel like these trainer battles are. I'm not so jealous. These, these trainer battles are not, how do I say, these trainer battles are not like Sea Cottage. Bill lives here. Wow, he had to let people know. I, I'm, like, I, I feel like those trainer battles are something that we can, like, talk about our stuff in. 
What the fuck is this? Hiya, I'm a Pokemon. No, I'm not. Call me Bill. I'm a true blue. Pokemaniac. Hey, what's with that skeptical look? I'm not joshing you. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So how about it? Help me out here. Uh, yeah, sure, dude. When I'm in the teleporter, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. I assume that's gonna be from your your yeah your PC. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I have to do it from here. Makes sense. And and is she on? And is she in, in teleporter cell separator? Did we do it? Oh, Bill. Hey, how's it going, buddy? I, I shouldn't be calling him buddy. I don't know. Yeah, thanks, bud. I owe you one. So, did you come to see my Pokemon? Collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, here. Maybe this'll do. And receive the SS ticket so we can get on the SS Anne, yes! That cruise ship SS Anne is in Vermilion City. Its passengers are, sh are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. Why don't you go? Instead of me. Uh, thank is that all you want to tell me? Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's that's my that, that's what's really good about the speed of function. Okay, so where are we now? We have to head back then and, and head towards the SSN then. There's nothing else we have to do up here. Okay, so that was a good voyage to Bill. Bill was very kind. He he gave us the uh, SSN ticket. I'm now here's the thing, guys. Like I know about Pokemon. This is this is relatively my first playthrough of Pokemon Blue. Of course, I've like played Pokemon Yellow before, uh, but it's been a while, as I've said, it's been a while. Um, like it's, I do, I do, I do want to make it sound like this is like completely blind. This is just like my first playthrough of Pokemon Blue. I did play this when I was younger, but obviously I didn't get to it. Like, oh, this all this is open now. Hello. The people here were robbed. It's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the Rockets. Even our police force has trouble with the Rockets. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I, for new people, I'm sorry if I made it feel, feel like I, this is my first playthrough. Like, I, I don't want to make it because I feel like that's like one of the cheesiest things someone can do. Like, that and like people who do the whole... Uh, uh, po Pokemon Blue walkthrough, and then like they don't walk you through anything. <laughs> that that's a big pet peeve of mine. In fact, it's 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 not only a pet peeve, but it's actually just it's an annoyance. It's 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 annoying. You know what I mean? What the hell is this? Hello, Pokemon. Oh, okay. I I don't need I don't need you. Sorry. Sorry about that, buddy. Okay. So. I guess we just go up into this house, isn't that what we have to do now? Because that's how we progress, because there's like an opening in the house up here. But yeah, again, again, I, I, that, 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 that stuff used to really annoy me, like when I was, especially when I just, for, I first got the internet like 2013. Like, not that I, I, I was in on the internet before, like in school and stuff, but I just never really was on it, like I never really had any appeal to it. Let's see what this is. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. Okay. Those Mesmer Rockets, look at what they did here. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. That cost me a bundle, it did. It, yeah, but like... Hey, Guard! Guard, there's clearly a Team Rocket member back here. <laughs> like, it's not even, like, funny. Hey, stay out of... It, it's not your yard, huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Not, not at all. Not at all, sir. I don't think I could ever believe you. But yeah, when I was starting off like watching the internet, like I would, and I was like, okay, now I can get through parts of games that I couldn't do before, and I looked up like how to get in past certain parts of video games. And at that point, uh, like I would look up walkthrough, and like this person would have a walkthrough that wasn't a fucking walkthrough. <laughs> I would be like, please, can you do you not have a? Were you not gonna try and walk me through this part of the game? I know a lot of people are against walkthroughs, and that's fine. You know, people are against walkthroughs, but I honestly think that if you were stuck, and at, th at those points of those video games, I wasn't getting past those parts. I was not getting past the part in the sewers of Silent Hill Homecoming. Like, I was not getting past that part. Does everyone remember that part of that game? 
That part is fucking difficult. That part is very hard. It is a difficult game. War Troll again, huh? That's good. Rocket is about to use Drowsy. Uh, yeah, I will actually. I'll use... Let's use Spiro. So, we have two mains on our team already. Spiro, I would love a Drowsy. Oh my god. Oh my god, I need a Drowsy. I, I genuinely need a Drowsy. That, oh my god, can I do an all Psychic team? Is that possible? Like, Ghost Pokemon and Psychic, is that possible? Do you guys think it's possible? Tell me if you think it's possible. If it's not if it's not possible, then, you know, just tell me to shut up. Spirit fell asleep. Ah. Oh, man. Now he's gonna pound me to death. Uh, let's try and do we have, I, I bought an Awakening, right? Please don't put me asleep again. Because, like, honestly, like, it's... I can't handle it. Fury attack. Let's hope this damages him. Okay. It could it could hit four times or something. Okay, it hit, hit twice. It was okay damage. It wasn't amazing. Let's try and use Fury attack again because it worked kind of well last time, I guess. It didn't work incredibly well. There we go. It actually worked very well. Oh, Spear is level 20. Fuck yes. On, defeated Rocket. Stop! I, I give up. I'll, I'll leave quietly. 510, you're... what? <gasps> what? Guys, he's evolving. Guys, my Pokemon is evolving. Okay, like, guys, that sprite is fucking awesome. That's a good-looking sprite. Okay, I'll return the TMI we stole. I better get moving, bye. Okay, now we can move down this way, but I feel like we have to return the TM to this guy first, right? I can't remember. It's been it's been a, it's been a couple of years since I played Pokemon Yellow, so I can't remember. I decided to teach Diglett how to dig without a TM. Oh, you're, you're, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You were very nice about it. Let's go heal our Pokemons. Man, I'm having so much fun playing this game. I think what I'm gonna do for the next, uh, if that's uh, not that that's okay, I'm gonna do it anyway, probably because. Uh, it's, it's about having fun. This channel is about having fun, and I think I'm going to play Pokemon for the next, like, seven days straight. Because I feel like it, I'm not going to get this off the ground if I don't play it all together, you know? And Breath of the Wild... Oh, Breath of the Wild is so good, man. I'm having so much fun with it. But the thing is, like, there's going to be so much Breath of the Wild con content coming, like, very soon. And I feel like I should, like... Stop playing it just for a bit. Like, just, you know... It's spicy. Is this a bicycle lane? I guess you can cycle it faster if it's, if it's a bicycle lane, I guess, maybe. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, oh, that building! Oh my god, that's annoying. Okay, let's go back up. Oh my god, I'm, I'm really bad at this. Oh god, oh god, okay, let's go back up. Okay, this time we'll do, like... <gasps> oh, let's see if it's a... <gasps> I'm Yowth. I'm Yowth. Uh, Pokemon Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff, we're gonna catch a Meowth. Can Jig can Meowth do ground type moves? Cause if he can, he's gonna be our Pokemon. Oh, don't, don't, come on, please, 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 you say. Oh, it didn't affect. No, God, shit. What do I do then? Oh, paralyze him. We'll paralyze him. We'll paralyze him. We'll make him paralyzed. I, I think we can do this. Okay, okay, fight. Uh, Thunder Wave. Okay. Yes, okay, item. Uh, Pokeball. Please, 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 Pokemon Jesus. Please, Pokemon Jesus. Yes! Okay, awesome. Right? Pretty good. Pretty good. Meowth uses Scratch. Adores circular objects. Wanders the streets on a nightly basis to look for dropped loose change. Do you want to give it a nickname? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm probably really annoying with that stuff. Okay, what's in here? What are you? 
I run a daycare. Would you like me to raise one of your Pokemon? <sighs> yeah, I would. No, I... Mm. Mm, yes, I would. Uh, you can take... You can take Butterfree, okay? No, 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 I'm okay. No, I'm fine. Uh, oh, okay, this is the Thirsty Guard. I, I speed it all the way to the Thirsty Guard. Uh, if you don't know what the Thirsty Guard is, I think you need a drink to give to him? What does it say? Underground path, Cerulean City to... Oh, we're going to Vermilion City. On the road to Vermilion City. I will never sing again. You can thank me for that. Um... We- I- I have to check this though because I have to see if this is- what- what route is this? Trainer to- oh. So I guess this isn't a route. So, we're, we're fine. We- we- like we have to get to route 5 if we want to catch a Bellsprout. That is the- that is the goal of this entire playthrough is to catch a Bellsprout and have a victory bell. And I think you have to trade him, right? Or you have to use a stone to do it? Hello. Hi! Do you have a Nidoran? Want to trade it for Nidoran? No, I want a Nidoran though. I want a fucking Nidoran so bad. Guys, you tell me where I can catch a Nidoran, please. See how fast that was? That was really fast. Let's see what this girl has to say. People often lose things in that underground path, and I pick it up and sell it for cornflakes. Uh, what's this say? Underground po- okay, okay, yep. Okay, we have to we have to get our bearings. We have to get our bearings. We can't just ultimately just. Ooh, is this the? Wait, what? Wait, what is this? What on earth is this place? This is actually pretty cool. What is this place? Uh, let's see. Oh, it's the same thirsty guard. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it's more trainers. It's more trainers time. Uh, I guess we can, I guess we can battle a few trainers. There aren't many bugs out here. There aren't many bugs out here, right? Okay, bug catcher wants to fight, okay. Bug catcher sent a Weedle. Hey Weedle, how's it going buddy? I think bird Pokemon are good against... Let's see. I think bird Pokemon are good against them. Oh, I have a Fero now. You can't beat Fero. You can't beat Fero. He's gonna peck you. That peck. That peck would go through his stomach. That Weedle's stomach. If this was realistic. Buckcatch is about to use Caterpie. Uh, nope. I'm actually gonna just destroy him with Fero. I think right. I'm right in saying that the uh, bird Pokemon are good against bug Pokemon. It makes sense. Like, to me, it makes sense. Because, like, in real life, that's what would happen. But again, someone told me not to go by real life or the show's logic. I think it was, <laughs> I think it was, uh, uh, Drifter, aka Gaming in a Nutshell, who actually, uh, said that. That not to go by the, the show's logic, because, uh, I, f I will be going by hopefully the show's logic soon, because I think by the end of the year I do want to do Pokemon Ash Grey or something like that. But again, I, I say these things, but might not even get to- Oh, I was poisoned? Okay, what? It's- oh my god, Firo, you're losing your edge. I might have to send you out to make you for Christmas dinner or something. Please work this time. Okay, good. Just one more hit, that's all we want. I defeated Bugcatcher. No, you're kidding. Yep. It is at that point that Calvin realized he does the same voice for every single uh, kid and uh, every single Team Rocket member because he believes Team Rocket members are kids. If only Calvin knew. Are you guys battling? Who's there? Quit listening in on us! Oh god, is this a double battle? No, it's not. Okay. Junior Trainer, oh, you were the guy who was going out at, um... You were going out with... What's his face? Uh, what's her face? Lass! Oh my god! What happened? Oh my god, this is a difficulty spike! I like it! I like it a lot, actually. 
it was feeling like um they were giving me a break, so maybe it is good that they we do have a difficulty spike now. Okay. And also, I do like, this is one really good design aspect about Pokemon that I love, the fact that they have one Pokemon. Like, if, if, it, if a Pokemon's really typical, there'll just be one of them. This is a private conversation. Okay, I, I, I want to interrupt you just because I want the experience points. Do, 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 do. Who is it? Junior Trainer wants to fight. Is Junior Trainer like an actual organization or something? Like a, like Boy Scouts or something? Um, okay, so he was really effective against us last time, so let's... Let's use this Pokemon. Uh, let's use Fury Attack. Pretty, pretty good. If we can get three hits on this, I might actually end this. Okay, two times, that's fine. We'll work on it again, work on it with a peck. Nice peck on the cheek. Okay, do one more. Junior Train is about to use Pikachu. Uh, yes, yes, no, yes, because uh, I have a bird Pokemon, so instead I'll use, oh god, what can I use? I guess I'll use Wartortle, but it's probably going to get destroyed by Pikachu because of the, the water and stuff, but I guess I can, okay, let's try, let's just try Bubble Beam, I'm not saying it's going to work, because, okay, good, <laughs> good, because I've been destroyed by uh, electric Pokemon before. It's okay, Junior Trainer. Ugh, I hate losing. It's kind of like a real fact of life, like, I love this game just for that. You know, uh, when trainers lose, they don't just be like, you're the best trainer who ever lived. You you actually get trashed and they, they, they get upset, because that's how it happens. That's how battles go. Bugcatcher wants to fight. Oh, Butterfree. Butterfree! Okay, uh, let's use Firo. Was that an episode he, like, traded his Butterfree? And he was really upset about it? Oh, please don't poison me. There we go. I was thinking there about the episode. <laughs> sorry, guys, I was so sorry I stopped talking there for a second. I was thinking about the episode. I was like, did is that is that actually, is that what happened? Oh, he's a f oh my god! No, you don't! Oh my god! That's that's uh that's really grinded my gears right there. Let's use War Turtle to actually just wreck this thing now. I never want my bird Butterfree back. I don't want my Butterfree back now. You can actually keep my Butterfree. You can actually hit have him. I'll actually like give him up right now. Level 21, well done, Pikachu. I am too good. I, I'm pretty good. <laughs> Not really. Uh, let's use an awakening on our little uh, birdie friend. It's kind of weird because like, I've, I've made a vow to kind of use those tactics a lot more, you know what I mean? The uh, the sleep stuff and all that. Uh, I'm not saying it's going to work entirely, but I, I do want to try and do it. Let's speed this up a bit. Uh, yeah, just, just a little bit, you know? No point in no point in listening to everything they have to say. Whoa! There's a lot of trainer battles, you know, and they're not they're probably not the most interesting thing in the world to watch. Uh, no, we're gonna keep this, okay? Like, watch this. Watch, look, look at this. Watch. Look at look how fast I can do this. There we go. Let's see what you have. Let's hope you don't have a bunch of Pokemon that I can just defeat. Junior trainers are fun though. I want to know what the junior trainers come from. Junior trainer sent out was a Spiro. Oh man, Spiro is like such a cool Pokemon. I actually was watching uh, the uh, Game Traders coverage of the Pokemon World Championships the other day, and what I loved about him was like, like my favorite line of the whole thing was, uh, "What would you have done if your Pokemon took out, a, like, pulled out a Farfetch'd out of their team?" And uh, the other was, guy was like, well, I know I was going to win then. Because <laughs> apparently Farfetch'd isn't the best Pokemon in the world. Okay, let's t switch Pokemon here to War Turtle. Which is kind of funny to me. Okay, let's just get, 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 let's just kill him. There we go. Where are we going next? Are we in Vermilion City already?
or somewhere. Where is this? Oh, cool. Is there a gym here? Is there a gym here? There must be a gym. There's a gym everywhere. Like, there's never not a gym. Don't worry, we're gonna search everywhere in, in due time. Oh, we need to cut. We need cut for the gym. A oh, Pokemon Fan Club, let's go in here. I just love my seal. It squeals when I hug it. That's that's funny. I chair the Pokemon Fan Club. I have collected over 100 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. So, did you come to visit here to hear about my Pokemon? Yes, I did. Good, then listen up. My favorite is Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, and smart. Plus, amazing. You think so? Oh yes, it is. It is stunning. Kindly. Love it. Hug it. When. Sleeping. Warm. And cuddly. Spectacular. Ravishing? Oops. Look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. Okay, we got the bike voucher. Really cool. Okay, okay, so we got a bike voucher. We can go back and get that bicycle when we when we need it. Um But that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching guys, and we will actually take on this gym in the next one. Hopefully if we can actually find cut. Maybe it's in this arena or in this area at least. What is this? Okay. I'll see you very soon.